Good morning to all my wonderful viewers out there. Welcome back to another episode of Drop List where we talk about all the items dropping in various brands weekly drops. Now, unfortunately, I've, I've got to do something that many YouTubers haven't done. <laughs> and that's uh, apologize without being called out by another YouTuber for doing something wrong. I thought that Supreme's week 15 wasn't going to drop, so I didn't cover it, but it turned out to drop. But that's okay, because week 15, it was kind of trash. But we're going to cover it in today's video, because, you know, we got, we got to do every week. So, in today's video, we're going to be covering week 15 of Supreme's Spring Summer 2020 collection. <laughs> okay, guys, okay. Let's start from the beginning. Let's start from the beginning. So, last week, week 15 was meant to happen. It did not happen because of the protests in America. So it got delayed, you know, Supreme was like, it feels a bit wrong to release a week when such a, mon uh, like such a huge event is going on in America. And I understand that. I totally get that. I, I totally with that. And then they didn't obviously post the drop list on their story like they've done with every single other week. So every single week so far this season, um, or at least every single week that I've paid attention to uh, on Supreme stories, has been posted um, on Supreme's Instagram stories, so then we know the drop list there. That's generally how I know certain items are confirmed to come out in certain weeks. So they didn't post anything on their story for week 15, obviously, because it was delayed. Then this week, which was going to be week 15, they didn't post anything on their story as well. So I was sitting here Thursday morning, looking at their Instagram page, and I was like, huh, okay, so still nothing. Maybe it's getting delayed for a second week. Now, Supreme Community po uh, posted a drop list for week 15. And I was like, really though? Like, how could they confirm that? Do they have insider information? That might be the case. So I was doubting Supreme Community because nothing had been posted on Supreme's Instagram story to show that we were going to get a week 15 drop this week. Turns out, I should have just not trusted Instagram and trusted Supreme Community because it looks like we actually got a week 15 drop this week. <laughs> and I look like the biggest idiot because I did not cover it for you guys. I'm so sorry. If um if I didn't have work on Thursday, I would have covered it, but unfortunately I was working. So now we're gonna cover it on Friday instead of doing the Friday video. But the Friday would have Friday video would have been the palace drop list which I've already done. And honestly, looking at this Supreme Week 15, you're probably actually wanting to go for the Week 5 of Palace's Summer 2020 collection because that has a lot more interesting pieces. And even that week is like 50-50 over this Supreme Week because um, I'm looking at Week 15 right now and uh, Supreme's Week 15, it's not good. It, it, it's not good. But what we'll do, we're still going to cover it. It feels weird if we don't cover it. So we'll head on over to the Supreme Community page to cover week 15. We'll start from the bottom to the top. I won't make it a long video. I'll just briefly cover each piece. But oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. It's, it, it's something. It is something. Now, if you guys want me to keep doing the drop list for, you know, Supreme and Palace and just cover Supreme in general, don't forget to leave this video a big old like. Comment in the comment section down below and are subscribed to the channel as we are trying to aim for 2,500 subs by the end of June. It's a big milestone to hit. I'll have a little um, sticky note milestone badge there on my computer once we hit it. <laughs> and then maybe one day, maybe one day, YouTube will give me a 100,000 milestone if we ever hit that. But let's try and hit it, guys. Tell all your mates and maybe we can hit 2,500 by the end of June. But let's head on over. Let's head on over to the Supreme Community page to cover the drop list for week 15 of Supreme's Spring Summer 2020 collection. Woo! <laughs> okay, so just to give you an idea, if you didn't go for week 15, didn't know if it happened or not, and just didn't see the drop list, let me just sum it up for you. The small box tee and small box hooded sweatshirt the little small, you know, um, box logo hood, uh, hooded sweatshirts and t-shirts were the highlight of the week. Now, if that's not saying something, I don't think there's anything else I can say that'll sum up the week perfectly. But that's kind of sad. That's okay, though. We'll start from the bottom, and then I'll show you why that's the case. So, the first item that dropped 
Well, not the first item, but the bottom item on the Supreme Community page for week 15. We have this inverted denim uh, short uh, short sleeve spring summer shirt. It has Supreme embroidered on the pocket in like a 90s style graphic. This is just a really lame kind of piece. This is something that you can find unbranded in a op shop. In an op shop, in a charity shop. It retailed for 128 USD. Are you gonna pay 128 USD for a denim shirt that has Supreme on the pocket? I'm definitely not. Supreme hooded sweatshirts usually retail for around 150 USD to almost 200 USD. The highest I've seen Supreme hooded sweatshirt being retailed for was 198 USD. Um, and they're asking 128 for a denim shirt. I'm sorry, but that's just no i i can't believe there are people being like yeah dude 128 usd for a denim shirt yeah bro <laughs> i'm sorry it's just to me that sounds so ridiculous next we have the liberty floral belt pants a little belt buckle to you know obviously tighten the pants there it comes in this just really loud like flower uh, floral print and I'm not against floral prints. You guys saw me unbox the Spring Summer 2018 floral denim uh, denim trench coat. That's a cool denim print. That's a cool denim floral print. This floral print though, uh, mm, if it was done on a quilted jacket, a varsity jacket, a hooded sweatshirt, I might be on board. It on pants though, and pants of this cut with the belt, I'm not on board, I'm sorry. Next, we had the Embryo Hooded Sweatshirt. Now, I watched a couple drop list videos uh, for this week. People were really bagging out this piece. They were like, it's trash, the design's horrible, yada, 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 yada. Honestly, I'm gonna go against the grain here and say it was actually a pretty cool um, design here. It's two babies inside the womb, cuddling up with text around it that I honestly can't read. It released in multiple colors, black, green, white, orange, uh, I think that's peach, and purple. If this design was embroidered, like a full massive embroidered piece on the back, I would have honestly been interested in this. I would have been interested in this. But it says up here, printed graphic on the chest and back, 148. I honestly would have rather just them upped the price to 158 or 168 and then done a full embroidered detail on the back and front. The print, I'm not a print guy these days. As soon as you embroid something, I'm on board. Prints, eh, anyone can do prints. Anyone can do prints. I can go down to a store and get something printed. Embroidery actually has to take a little bit of skill unless you're obviously using a machine. Uh, depending on if it's a machine embroidery or hand embroidery, it still takes more effort to do embroidery pieces, and that's why I really like them and respect them. Prints, they're kind of boring, in my opinion, and the print would have to be crazy for me to be like, yeah, nice, but this is not crazy enough for me. It would have been better embroidered, so it's going to be a no from me. Next, we had the Patchwork Knit Zip Up Polo. This design, this overall design, could have been really well done on a hooded sweatshirt, a crew neck sweatshirt, a jacket, you know, varsity jacket, bomber jacket, just anything besides this zip up polo. It could have even looked good on a polo if it wasn't zip up. I don't know why they chose a zip up for this one. I really feel like they missed the mark with this, but it had so much potential. They need to get me on board as a designer. <laughs> uh, next we have the animal basketball jersey. Uh, this is just foul, man. I'm, I'm sorry. If you like this, I'm sorry. I just can't agree with it, man. This just looks gross. This looks like something that I'd buy at like a Sunday market that like some independent local artist made and it just it just doesn't hit any marks. It, they're just ugly. I'm sorry. I just look at that. Like you tell me you're going to wear a, bas uh, a sorry, yeah, basketball jersey with that on it. Nah, man. Nah, I'm sorry. I can't. <laughs> I can't do that to myself. I can't be seen wearing that. Uh, next, we have the digital logo track pants. I don't want an alarm clock on one leg and the side of my leg. Um, yeah, it's it's just going to be enough. 
I'm sorry. It's just going to be a no from me. Next, we have the ARC logo water sport shorts. Uh, normally, Supreme does some pretty crazy, pretty wacky uh, water shorts, which is exactly what water shorts should be. You're telling me that you want some plain water shorts when you go like swimming at the beach or something like that. Nah, you want to wear the most craziest sh uh, water shorts possible because, you know, you're at the beach, man. Who cares what you're wearing? That's what you want to go for, right? And then Supreme does this. Normally, they do really wacky and really cool ones. This one is boring i'm sorry it's just the supreme logo done over the top of what looks like the crotch it doesn't look like it's done on the butt here at all because there's the, the wait no okay that's even worse so there i can see the pocket lining there there's the pockets there so that's the front and then on the butt it has supreme nah bro nah i'm not paying 118 usd for that i'm sorry it's just it's not worth the retail money uh next we have the liberty floral six panels these aren't too bad these are way better than the pants um it's just i don't know it's it's very 50 50 and it seems the same way with how people rated it when it dropped it's all right would i buy it no and that's probably why i'm going to give it the thumbs down but it's not a horrible piece unlike a lot of what's released this um this season it's just a no for me. I just can't. Now, next we have the patchwork knit shorts. Now, do you know what? These should have been done as water shorts. These should have been put on nylon water shorts. And then you wear these to the beach, man. This is the kind of craziness that I'm talking about when it came to Supreme shorts for the beach. But instead they went with all cotton. These are just like normal shorts to wear. And I'm kind of like, again, it, awesome design could have worked really well for water shorts. But just like your standard cotton shorts. Ah. It, again, missed potential. Missed potential here. It could have been really cool for water shorts, but they did it for knit shorts instead. Uh, next, we have the Supreme D Martini Messenger Bag. It's the Ramel Z. Um, oh, no, no. Is it the Ram LZ? Yeah, it's it's the Ram LZ design over the top of this one, isn't it? The, from the previous collaboration this season. Uh, I came in just all black, or you got the Ram LZ um, design all over the top of it. These are all right. Um, I just wouldn't use a Supreme Messenger bag. I've got the Supreme Duffel bag, like the extra large one from the 2017 season, and I rarely use that these days. I don't usually use bags. I kind of like don't like bags over the top of my outfit I, I don't know that's a conversation for another time but i don't usually use a lot of bags and this uh just wouldn't get any use it's not a bad piece i just would never use it so i i'm not going to buy something i'm not going to use you know uh universal i uh, sorry university spring summer top this just reminds me of a jeff hamilton jacket you know i'm sorry whenever i see stuff that has logos plastered all over it i just think jeff hamilton and i can't buy something that is referencing my man when I could just buy a Jeff Hamilton piece <laughs> which I I don't want to spoil it for you guys but I may have a couple more Jeff Hamilton jackets on the way which of course I'll unbox on the channel but the US Postal Service is absolutely horrible so <laughs> I don't think we're gonna get it anytime soon I bought it like almost a month ago and it's, st it's still not here so we're gonna be waiting a while um, next we have the digital logo track jacket I wouldn't wear something like this. The material, uh, the water resistant nylon, it's just not my type of jacket. It's not my type of vibe. Um, I, I don't like the design on the one arm. It's just not hitting any good spots. And it's not at a, a horrible retail price. That's actually a pretty good retail price for what it is. I just wouldn't wear it. So I'm gonna give it a thumbs down because I wouldn't wear it. Next we have the reflective camp caps. These are actually pretty good. I gotta say, these were a good time, 3M material, so if you don't know what 3M is, it's a nylon based material where um, you wear it, and then when flash from a camera or from a phone light hits it, it lights up. Um, there's actually some good images of it here. So this is when there's no light, and this is when there is light. It's a cool material, and I'm, I'm happy to see that they did it on like a bunch of like really tonal um caps it's cool i actually really like this these retailed for 54 usd it's a good price it's a good time it's honestly it, it's a good time now we're moving on to our final three pieces and these were the highlights of the week and if that says it there that really sums up the whole week man we have the contrast boonie um very iconic hat 
worn by Australians a lot actually, so it's kind of close to home, you know. Uh, I like the red one. Uh, personally, I just don't wear a lot of outfits that would feature boonies, but boonies can be worn in a lot of streetwear outfits that look really, really cool. So I'm going to give it a thumbs up, not because I would personally buy it, but it's a good piece. It is a good piece that I know a lot of outfits that could be worn with that could look really cool. All the colors are really well done here. My favorite is probably the red and the blue one. Uh, third goes to black, last goes to the brown, just because uh, brown I wouldn't wear too much. Uh, and the second final piece of this week, we have the small box hooded sweatshirt. Not a very exciting piece, not a lot going on. It's literally a blank supreme hooded sweatshirt with a little, little embroidered patch on the chest that's the supreme. It's literally this logo here, but done really, really tiny on the left breast there. That's all it really is. It's, it's not trying to be loud, it's not trying to be crazy, and it doesn't have to be. It's just a nice basic piece. If you like the quality of Supreme hoodies, and you just wanted to buy a Supreme hoodie that didn't have, you know, too much branding on it, too much craziness going on it, because, you know, it's, as we've seen in this season, Supreme loves to put a lot of crazy stuff on their hoodies. If you just want something super simple, this is how you go with it. Um, yeah, it's an awesome piece, but honestly, you didn't have to buy one from this season. If you go on Grailed right now, there are people selling small box logo hooded sweatshirts from like previous seasons because these get released like all the time. Uh, there are people selling previous season ones on Grailed for like under retail all the time. So you can honestly pick these up all the time. It's not like it's not a huge thing that you're missing out on if you missed it out on it yesterday. It's not a big deal. It's honestly not a big deal. So. You, you can definitely go up and pick a secondhand one up for pretty cheap. And last but not least, we have the most hyped item of the week, which is the small box tee. Uh, essentially the same thing as that hooded sweatshirt there, but in t-shirt form. Now, this is not bad. This is It's just a basic Supreme tee with small box logo on it. Um, I don't, I honestly, the whole reason that this is quite hyped is I don't think it's the, um, like the single colored ones. I think everyone was really interested in the checkered pattern one. That is a cool one. I love that checkered pattern design. You could wear that. Levi's 501s. Wear this tucked into your Levi's 501s. That's a vibe. Wear like a waist bag if you wanted to, or just spice it up with a bunch of accessories. That would be a steezy fit. That would be a steezy fit. Um, wear it with some Vans, wear it with some Converse. That would be a really cool fit. Yeah, I would really like it in the um, checker pattern one. The rest of them, they're kind of just basic tees that I could just pick up at Uniqlo. Like I could just go generic navy shirt from Uniqlo and I'd be set. <laughs> so I'm, again, I don't feel like I'm missing out on much, not by picking it up, but that is the week. That is week 15. Um, I know that I, we skimmed it a lot quicker than we normally do on the channel, but some of you guys have been saying my videos are a bit long, so I thought I'd keep it a little bit shorter this time, but this is the week. Let me know what your thoughts and opinions are on week 15. It was, um, it was something. It was something. Most of it, I gotta say, it was either a missed opportunity or just horrible, and... I mean, I don't want to say, hey, Supreme, call me up, I'll design it for you. <laughs> but at the same time, Supreme, call me up and I'll design it for you. Because this could, again, this could have been like sick on a quilted jacket or a hoodie or something. This could have been sick on a quilted jacket or hoodie. That's just horrible in general. Um, this could have been really good on some water shorts. Missed opportunities. Missed opportunities. They could have done um, box logo uh, hoodies with three M box logos on them. Imagine that! Dude, if Supreme does it, Supreme, you owe me a check. If you do a box logo hoodie with a three M BOGO on it, you owe me money. <laughs> it's here, it's on the internet, I have evidence, but that would be a sick idea. Um, yeah, that's week 15. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Did you pick any of it up? Did you miss out on it? What are your thoughts and opinions on this week as a whole? And, that's, that's about it guys. That is week 15 of Supreme Spring Summer 2020 collection. Um, it's probably the worst week we've had this season. It is probably the worst week we've had this season. Um, I don't know because I would have to go back and compare all the previous weeks. But if the highlight of the week is the small box logo stuff, the stuff that like releases almost every season, uh, that really says something about the week. But maybe you maybe you disagree with me. Maybe you're like, nah, Daniel, this week was lit. There were so many sick pieces, yada, yada, yada. Let me know. Let me know on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, which are all in the description section down below, by the way. 
uh, or in that comment section below, you know, let me know. Maybe you love heaps of the pieces. Maybe I'm just super out of touch <laughs> and I just don't know what's good. Uh, I just like to say, I'm so sorry that I didn't cover it for you guys. I honestly thought because they didn't post on their Instagram story that it wasn't coming because that's a generally a really good way to tell what's confirmed to drop if they're dropping everything like that. So, so sorry guys. Hopefully you picked up the, uh, any of the pieces you're looking to pick up from this week. It wasn't the best week to be honest. Uh, I would honestly say, go check out Palace's week. I've done a video on it. It's very recent. Um, that one's a lot better. That one's a lot better than this week for sure. But that's everything I've got to say about week 15 of Supreme Spring Summer 2020 collection. If you want me to keep covering all the upcoming Supreme releases, all the upcoming Palace releases, everything like that in this drop list series, don't forget to leave this video a big old like, comment in the comment section down below, and to subscribe to the channel as we are trying to aim for 2,500 subs by the end of June. Thank you to everyone that has been subbing recently, watching the videos to this point. You guys are amazing people. Thank you so much for the continuous support. But that's everything that needs to be said about the week. So until the next drop list video, until the next Supreme video, until the next streetwear talk video, guys, I'll catch you later.